go. We are just about ready to open shop for business at the Sportsman's Expo here. This is our morning commute. Fill up the GMC <laughs> with everybody and head down to the Expo. The show will open doors to public at 11. We're going to get there a little bit early so we can make sure we know how to use our own cash register. Mike is pretty good at that. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. I failed miserably yesterday. <laughs> Micah and Logan are both pretty pretty good at remembering stuff. But Logan's good at remembering stuff? Whoa. Well, it's like, he's good at figuring stuff out. Remembering stuff like camera at TSA? Not so much. <laughs> I got robbed. <laughs> you got robbed. He got duped by the TSA. <laughs> Probably go looser, huh? Yeah, you're gonna wear this for like a few days. Strapped. You ready Come for this, see us. Dude? I'm ready, dude. Let's go. Day one, Portland Expo. Year two, day one. Let's see how it goes. Already packed house. Kevin wearing one of the shirts he bought at this same show last year. The trophy shot shirt with Casey holding up the big old back strap. There he is with yours. Is that a, a deer or an elk? Mule deer. It's a mule deer. I was going to say, it's not quite big as an elk. No. Nope. Yeah, trophy shot. We need to bring this shirt back. If you guys want more like trophy shot style apparel where we have like the cuts of meat and stuff, let us know in the comments. I think we need to bring this back. That's cool, man. Thank awesome. you. You're growing. That's going to be small. too small. I bet, I bet the next size might work. What sticker you just want? Which one you want? Which one you want? Perfect. How are you? Good. What's up, man? Good hey. to see you. How are you? We're going to give you guys a tour of the Jumping Jack booth. We've got a lot of cool styles. Look at this. I think this is like a 17 footer or something like that. 12 foot. 12 foot tent with a 5 foot deck. I think. This is like your typical model right here. Dang, they're so spacious. This is the 8 footer. Is this a blackout model? Oh yeah. No, this is just the regular model. What's up? How are you? Good, we're on a tour. Hey, so what's the difference between the regular and the blackout? Is it the size of tires? Yeah, the main difference on the blackout, you get the squared off fender with the 16 inch oh, yeah. aluminum alloy wheel, 32 inch all terrain tire. Bag is black rather than gray. Okay. And then the LED lighting is a little bit different. Nice, dude. I love these. Yeah. What? We need this. The lights will be on our website. Oh, really? Next couple months. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's perfect. Man, this and the awning. That's cool, man. There's so many accessories that go with these trailers. This is a fence. Pretty clever marketing idea, I'm not gonna lie. These are game bags, like for meat. They usually have the check mark if it's burger, or sausage, or venison. He is putting the style of shirt and the size down here. Pretty good marketing strategy. Roll them up and put them in a game bag. Come get them at the canvas cutter booth. Come check them out. 
this is not awkward. I mean, it could be just because that's how it kind of feel. <laughs> See if you got it. There you go. It's just like stuffing it in with hamburger. Yeah. It's a teacher instead. Meat. Making meat. These guys are on the back side of our booth, so. This is the big wall of banners. But first light, canvas cutter, got Onyx maps, and then on the back side of us. And then the Born and Raised guys, and then Crispy Boots. So we've kind of created this little section to be somewhat our partnerships with Born and Raised and uh, Hush. I think it's a fun zone. It's kind of cool. It's so slick if those were our If you were into Jordans back in the day, remember those tabs they had? What were those called? Jordan tabs. These things? Remember those? Oh, yeah. Dude, watch this. Martin, watch, you ready for this? Loosen them up. And then you just slide them on. They're comfy. Ready to go. I'm gonna give you guys an honest review. I'm gonna wear these for the next five days. If you've ever done a show and you're standing on concrete all day, your feet get, they hurt. So I'm gonna give you an honest review. The Tevas compared to, what are these? Power Max? Air Max. Air Max. These, no, no bueno. Good to have you. Yeah. Know? Oh, the whole crap. The tin, super high quality. When you got the lid on good, it's not going to get wet or flow. Yeah. All right, guys, that's a wrap for the first day here at the Sportsman Show. Security just kicked us out. We wrapped up the booth, kind of cleaned things up, but uh, man, a great turn turnout for Wednesday. So first off, I want to say thanks to everyone who came to visit us at the booth. Thanks to everyone who bought merchandise. That really helps support the channel, helps us create more content like this, helps us pay for this fellow behind the camera, Martin and Logan, and uh, really just goes back into the business. So thanks for buying the merch. Uh, for anybody who can make it, please come visit the Hush booth in the Sea Hall. BC2 is our booth number if you see it on a map. We're, again, we're right next to Born and Raised, First Light, Canvas Cutter, and this big old dot right here. Know where you stand, the Onyx uh, map booth. So we're gonna leave the place, they're kicking us out. We're gonna go get some dinner, maybe relax, and uh, do it all again tomorrow. And then do it all again the week after that in Utah. It's expo season. We made it through day one. So thanks guys.